we want to consider the function f of x equals one divided by x on the closed interval from two to five. We want to begin by determining the average or mean slope on this interval, which would be the slope of the line passing through the two points on the function when x equals two and x equals five. Then, by the mean value theorem, there exists a value c in the open interval from two to five, such that f prime of c, the slope of the tangent line at x equals c, is equal to the mean or average slope. So our goal is to find the values of c that satisfy this condition, guaranteed by the mean value theorem, as long as f of x is continuous on this interval. Let's take a look at a graph of this. The blue graph is the graph of the given function on the closed interval from two to five. Then the slope of this line here, passing through the two points when x equals two and x equals five, would be the mean or average slope. Our goal is to find the value of c in the open interval from two to five, which would be this x value here, such that the slope of this tangent line is the same as the mean or average slope. So to begin, let's find the mean or average slope. Slope is equal to the change of y divided by the change of x, or the change in function values divided by the change of x. So on the closed interval from two to five, we would have f of five minus f of two divided by five minus two. Where f of five would be one-fifth, and f of two would be one-half. So we have one-fifth minus one-half divided by five minus two, that'd be three. The common denominator here would be 10, so we'll multiply one-fifth by two over two, and one-half by five over five. So this would be two-tenths minus five-tenths divided by three, which is equal to negative three-tenths divided by three. A fraction bar means division, so this is equivalent to negative three-tenths. Instead of dividing by three, we can multiply by the reciprocal of one-third. Notice here, the threes simplify out, leaving us with an average slope of negative one-tenth. So now our goal is to determine the values of c in the open interval from two to five, such that f prime of c would be equal to negative one-tenth, our mean or average slope. To do this, we'll find the derivative function, set it equal to negative one-tenth, and solve for x. So if f of x equals one divided by x, or one divided by x to the first, we can move this up to the numerator and rewrite this as x to the power of negative one. And therefore, the derivative function, f prime of x, would be equal to negative one times x to the power of negative two, or negative x to the negative two, which is equivalent to negative one divided by x squared. We want to know when this would be equal to negative one-tenth. So again, our goal is to solve the equation negative one divided by x squared equals negative one-tenth. Because we have two fractions equal to each other, the cross products must be equal, meaning negative one times 10 must equal x squared times negative one, which would give us the equation negative x squared equals negative 10. Dividing both sides by negative one, we'd have x squared equals 10. So if we take the square root of both sides of the equation, it appears we have two solutions here. x equals positive square root 10, or x equals negative square root 10, but we have to be careful because we're only considering the open interval from two to five, so negative square root 10 would not be in this interval, and therefore the value of c we're looking for is c equals square root 10. And just so we can check this on the graph, the square root of 10 is approximately 3.162. So now if we go back to the graph to verify this, notice when x is approximately 3.164, the slope of this red tangent line is the same as the average slope. I hope you found this helpful.